All right, what's going on, guys? So we just pulled the thing as a five from the latest five-star feature crystal. We broke the bad luck streak that we've been having uh, after that abysmal six-star opening. Another dupe. It hurts, but whatever. Uh, there's a level up event and a science advancement on. It's literally perfect. Uh, so let's rank them up, man. We're going to be taking them all the way up to rank five. So let's go ahead and put this to five stars. Science. Where's my, my rock man at? Here he is. Guys, we're just going to be taking them all the way up. Um, I should have everything I need. Uh, the only issue might be ISO. Um, but I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> yeah, ISO might be an issue. Uh, we'll see, though. Let's go ahead and put this on Smart Select. Actually, no, it's not. Smart Select is kind of dumb sometimes. I don't know. I find it just easier to do it myself because, um, yeah. For one, I don't really care if I'm paying a little too much ISO. And for two, it's just, honestly, not that it's not faster. It's just, it kind of is faster because it, yeah, I tried to save. And then, yeah, you understand what to do it yourself. So we've got 2 3 gem here. I'm going to use this instead of uh, the actual rank up materials. Uh, go ahead and put that to use. So go ahead, like smart select is good when you can just use all the ISO. Just boom, select it, and then go claim more. But when it's like takes you to like 34 out of 35, and you can just go to 35 with the ISO you have, it's just annoying, you know. Like right here, I I know I have the ISO to get to 45. I don't know why it doesn't just put me there. Like I said, I don't care if to pay a little extra. Uh, one more, close enough, and then. Put one of those, there we go. That's rank three, um, fully maxed out. All right, now we don't have any more rank up gems. So we're gonna have to use the T2A and T5B. Let's go ahead, take them from three to four. And there we go, man. Let's just go ahead, toss on the smart select. I love just taking a brand new champion from rank one to rank five. It's, uh, it's a really great feeling. I've done this with Symbiote Supreme. And did I do it with Corvus? I don't know, but I know I did with Simbi Supreme. He might be one of the only ones I've done it with. Uh, definitely not Stark Spidey and Blade. I had those guys as rank 4s forever before I took them to rank 5. Literally so long, man. Did Labyrinth with them at rank 4. Um, yeah, alright, looks like we're at a T2, T1A, but that's fine. We got a bunch of that in the overflow. Um, and yeah, alright, here we go. Let me just take a screenshot. Might use that for the thumbnail. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I have six tier five basic right now. I'm actually capped on them, so I can finally get get you them used up. Um, and yeah, I'm almost maxed on T2A now. Boom. There we go. 500k gold. I've had a lot of gold just saved up because I haven't been ranking anyone up. So that's been nice. All right, let's go back to the ISO. I think. Oh, I spoke too soon. I was gonna say I think we have enough, but I spoke too soon. What do I do now? <laughs> Out of ISO, it's gonna cost a lot of gold, but I don't really care. Uh, let's claim all this basic ISO. Okay, we got a lot of this stuff actually. That's good. I'm not even sure where I get this stuff from, but okay. Let's put all of that into thing. Let's go ahead and put uh, the rest of this basic five tier five and some tier four. Nice. Looks like we got a lot of that basic ISO. I'll just put that in before I use other classes. Um, or maybe I should just use other classes. I don't know. Let's get another round of that basic stuff. Let's see. How much do we have? We have quite a bit. Hmm. All right. Let's go for a different class. Uh, all right. What class should I go for? Who am I not going to be ranking up anytime soon? Skill? No, I might be ranking up a skill. Mutant? No, no, I'll definitely rank up Mutant Cosmic. Yeah, I'll see myself ranking up a Cosmic anytime soon. Let's, let's take some Cosmic ISO. Uh, looks like I have a crap ton of it as well, so... Yeah, that'll work. Uh, let's go ahead and funnel all this into thing. I also uh, changed my mic setup a little bit. I have it over here instead of over there where I usually have it. Uh, let me know if it's any better, if you guys even noticed. Um, appreciate any feedback. It's in a spot that's a little more uncomfortable on my desk, but I don't know, I could figure out a way to make it work if this is a lot better. Uh, yeah, holy crap, that, no, that didn't take that much gold. Alright, let's go, let's go to basic for the last bit. Um, how, how much more have we got? Alright, four levels, this should do it. And boom, there we go. Thing, 565. Finally got a new 565, man, it feels really good. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and use an item. Again, take a screenshot, might use it for the thumbnail. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and plop this Science Awakening gem. There we go, made use of that. Um, feels really good, man. Boom, look at this guy, dude. He's, <laughs> he, was just, he looks so awesome, man. Um, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. So, Unbreakable Spirit, here's his sig ability. So this is for his protection that he can activate. Uh, let's go ahead and sig him up. Let's sig this big boy up. I'm going to be feeding him pretty much all the sig stones. So let's give them all to thing. Give them all the science ones. Take them up to sig 65. His prestige is actually over 10,600. Um, I thought it was in, in the 10,500 range, but it's even more than that actually, which is just crazy. So... Here we go, take him to SIG 74, and I'm going to go ahead and take him up to SIG 100, and I'm going to leave him there for now. i got a couple more generics, just going to chill for a little bit because it's not going to increase my prestige right now. Um, so yeah, let's see what he's at. So, using all damage by 66.73%, cool. So, as, as far as his abilities go, I've given them a, a, re a read a couple of times, and I kind of understand... Uh, I'm gonna figure him out a lot more now that I actually have him at rank 5. It'll be more. F I was doing a little bit of testing with him at rank 1, and it, it's not really fun playing a rank 1 champion. So, yeah, now that he's rank 5, let's go have a little bit of fun in Realm of Legends. Um, See, so yeah, I kind of had a makeshift team here, and I think this team's good. Let me see, who would else be good to bring? Um, let's go ahead and bring. Yeah, I think someone was using Thor. I guess I saw some gameplay of someone using Thor. Alright guys, so this is the synergy team I settled on. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, this is just going to be some fun gameplay. This isn't anything serious. I'm still not a, a thing master yet. Uh, i got to reuse abilities a lot more. got to play them a lot more. got to understand them a lot more. Uh, just having some fun. I'm going to show you guys some of the crazy damage outputs that he can do. Some of the awesome stuff that he can do. Um, and... Uh, yeah, this is, like I said, this is for fun. We've got the full synergy team. I have some really awesome uh, thing gameplay planned. Some very bold places to take him. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys that. But yeah, this is just part of the level up. Just wanted to show some gameplay and why I really ranked him up. And there's a couple of reasons. One is for defense. Uh, he should be a pain in the butt uh, for there on defense. But also... Um, for prestige and offensively he's just fun uh it would have been great if i got him for uh, the event uh the micro realm variant uh but yeah unfortunately we didn't i just wanted to bait this out real quick all right there we go and we're gonna let him kill us and then we're gonna be indestructible uh oh we're stunned all right there we go we're good all right, you can see we're hitting insanely hard Alright, now we just want to activate that. Get that regen going. Alright, now we want to get off an L3. And once we do that at 20 rock stacks, uh, we're going to get more Fury. There we go. And we're going to be unstoppable and uh, unblockable, I think it is. So yeah, we're going to wrap him up in uh, a ground sandwich, a little ground burrito. That's a funny throw him against the wall. There we go. Dust off the old hands. And yeah, now we can really just start going to town. You can see we're hitting insanely hard, man. It's ridiculous how hard we're hitting. Uh, it's a 14k light. Um, or 16k medium. And just the damage output, man. It is crazy. Uh, you hit harder after the L3. That's why our damage just kind of slowed down a little bit. But we're just hitting so hard. Now let's go ahead hit him with uh, an L2. 29k. 25k on a no crit. It's crazy. Um... <laughs> He's just so much fun to play, man. He really is. Uh, you do need synergies to do this crazy stuff, but when you can, it, uh, it's fun. I think I got the basics of him down. I need to read his abilities a couple more. I'm not sure of everything that's going on. Uh, if you parry, I think it gives you more rock stacks. Uh, I think those passive furies cap out at 30. Um, yeah, there we go. There's Winter Soldier taken down like he's nothing. Uh, we got, we hit him 68 times, but we got hit 60 times. Hey, we beat him by 8 hits. Um, but yeah, man, thing, let's go and do a little bit more just to show what it's like without, uh, class add, or without class disadvantage, because keep him.
mind. Uh, Winter Soldier has the advantage there. Um, so let's go ahead and let her kill us. Uh, let's be much quicker, not 60 hits this time. Uh, there we go. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and go through that and then let's go ahead and drop an elf I just want to see the kind of damage output we're doing when we don't have the class disadvantage uh, real quick let's go ahead and wrap her up in the ground burrito oh it's wait okay yeah, there we go wrap her up in the ground burrito <laughs> uh, just so funny looking oops all right 11k light uh, I think we need to stack up some more uh, of the passive here because we're only at 20 right now. Those can get up to 60. And yeah, we just we get more. I think by <coughs> getting our rock stacks removed. Uh, I think using L2 to convert them. Yeah, there we go. We just got jumped up to 40 of them now. Let's go ahead and get off another L2 and see how much more we can stack up. Let's keep stacking them up. Just keep stacking up the rock charge. So every time we parry. Uh, we get five of them. Then we go 10, 15, let's get to 20, and drop that. And then boom, yeah, now we're at 60 of those passive furies. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we're doing now. Uh, it's good. Uh, I think if we go off an L3, we can do some more. Uh, like I said, I'm still not a master at this playing thing, so that will learn a little bit. But dang, he's, he's actually. He might be pretty good for farming potions in here. Uh, interesting. Let's go for one more L3, see what kind of damage we're doing, and then uh, we'll go ahead and end it there. Uh, if you guys have any requests for videos you want to see with Thing, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I got some ideas of my own. I have a lot of ideas, actually. There's so much I can do with this character. Uh, but yeah, if there's anything specifically you guys want to see, go ahead and drop it in the comments. Uh, I'll be reading them. Take a look. See uh, what you guys are saying. His crit rate is kind of low. Oh, yeah, we're unblockable. What am I doing? Just gotta go in. Go for an L1, see what kind of damage we're doing there. Not bad. He's just really fun to play, man. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Just uh, farming up a couple of potions there with Thing. He's a lot of fun to play. Really cool champion. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see um and yeah thanks for watching subscribe for more content to come peace uh if you play me in war good luck against this guy <laughs>